Hello, um, in this tutorial I will try to show you how to install WordPress on your local machine. So, to make it happen, um, we, needed, we need some sort of local server. And I'm on Windows and I personally use XAMPP. It's pretty simple to install and use. It has phpMyAdmin, it's a plus. And in different operating systems, you can have different solutions, but XAMPP works in every OS. That's the good thing, yeah. Um, just click download and follow the instructions, pretty simple. When you finish it, um, you need to download WordPress. In WordPress, the dog download, um, it's <laughs> free. Make sure you are downloading the latest version. You need to click download and download will be finished. I already downloaded that. So, when you feel ready, you need to start your ZAMP. I already started. So, in downloads folder, I will get the WordPress to ZAMP. I downloads here and in ZAMP, go to htdocs folder and that's it that's where our projects are i want to show you when you type localhost you will see your projects so i want to create another folder or just paste the uh, zip folder and extract it okay and in it we should have wordpress yeah cut that Delete the older one. It can take some time. Okay, I finally deleted it. Get the guy out of here. Okay, and delete this. Okay, our WordPress is in here. So, when we refresh, there is WordPress. Click that. You see, this is the setup that helps us to install WordPress so you need to select uh, your language I will go with default and it will want you to connect your database with WordPress okay um, when you install XAMPP you can go localhost slash php my admin in here we can manage our local databases so I would like to create a new one. My is mine is Turkish. So, but there is no problem. Uh, you need a database name. Uh, I will pick WP Tutorial. Make sure it's UTF-8 MB4 General C. Click. All right, our database is created. It's pretty simple. So in database name what we picked wp dash tutorial and for username that's the database username in default XAMPP uh, is root and password is empty database host will be localhost table prefix will stay as it is and click submit all right sparky <laughs> okay now we connected the database, connected the database, and we can click run the installation. That's once uh, simple information about our website. So I will just choose WordPress and username. Uh, you will use this username when you are logging your WordPress panel. So it's important, uh, but in localhost it doesn't matter. Just pretty high security one, yeah. Confirm use of weak password and email. It doesn't require that, I guess. Or just I want to type something. Test, test. Um, no, I don't care. Click install WordPress. Yes, it's installed. Click login. Now write your username and the uh, high secret password click remember me and yeah we are in
this WordPress and this is our website default site you see pretty simple to install on your local machine and now you can create our themes create our plugins or just you know take a look at WordPress without buying hosting